extra, extra, read all about it. Aries, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading. I had to think for a second because lockdown has got me like, uh, yeah. But, whoo, I can focus on your energy and that's what this video is. It's Aries energy. So this is not a horoscope reading. This is an Aries energy reading. So it is for Aries sun, moon, rising sign, Venus, Mars, whatever. It could even be an Aries that you're dealing with outside of you, right? It's just an Aries energy video that I pick up on through Oracle cards. I always include an extended reading that is a tarot card reading, which gives a lot more details, specifics, and it personalizes these energies. And it also includes a romantic specific reading. And that link is down below. These two videos work in conjunction with each other. So if the title seems a little bit off, it's probably because you did not see the extended because I don't really title these videos until I do the extended. Uh, so I kind of like take the whole message and boop, use it as the title. So that's where our titles, that's where my titles come from. And they're a little bit of a hint to maybe what's going on in the extended. Um, there are no dates on the videos, but I do upload the, a new Aries video every single week. So if you want the Aries videos hot off the press, then please do click subscribe. You will help the channel grow and you can also ring that bell so you know exactly when I upload all the content I upload. <sighs> thank you. For, thank you for bearing with me through that introduction. Aries, what is your energy? Popping out like crazy, popping out and popping off, waving in the air like you just don't care. Truth transcends illusion, but it's upside down, upside down. Got me inside out. Bring a gentle touch and time for a deeper dive. Um, you know what's so weird about this energy? It almost seems like you're more than happy to be lost in illusion right now. You're in love, you feel good. Maybe you're in love with life or there's a good feeling around you. It's the only escape you have from the frustration that is being pent up. And Aries don't like to be pent up. You maybe wanna, you could pent up yourself by working for like 16 hour days, 10,000 years in a row. But it's a lot different when somebody says you can't. Like that's that that's a trigger word for you guys. Like you, I, I, wait, what? You know, like, you don't like to hear it, but there seems to be some sort of peace that you have found. And ooh la la, I got this a little bit. I picked up on this a little bit last week. You might want to go check out last week's video, uh, Aries, because um, there was a sense of there might have been a surprise coming to you in terms of mm, maybe not romance, but a play thing kind of thing. Um, something to excite you and keep you motivated. So this is a sense of truth transcends illusion. Nope, the truth is buried. The truth is not, it's, it's not what is setting you free. The illusion is what's setting you free. The illusion of love, the illusion of romance and partnership. So for me, this is almost like, um, escaping into fantasy or allowing yourself to basically go completely in a different direction and to diverge in a direction that you, you know, you don't even like wave it in the air. I'm serious. Like you just don't care. There's a sense of allowing yourself to go way the fuck off because who's watching, you know, what happens in Aries stays in Aries. That's kind of like that, that sense of, let me get lost in illusion. Let me get lost in fantasy. Let me indulge in a little bit of something, something on the side. Let me indulge in um, the impractical. Let me do it. Let me do it because A, when else am I going to get a chance to do it? And B, I need this right now. If I don't have this right now, you're going to see a bunch of windows exploding, like, like windows exploding throughout all these apartment complexes and houses. And I, it, in, in each of those places, when they do the investigation, you will see that it is an Aries that exploded and took the window and the walls out with them because you just cannot like cage in an Aries. It doesn't work for the mindset. It freaks, it, it'll freak you out because you're the doers. You're the atomic bomb of the fricking Zodiac. You can't pent you guys in, and you're also extremely social. You th you're fire signs. You thrive on community and socialization. And this, this is not, you need something to help you out. You need it. 
So this is not only your way of saving yourself for you in your mind, it's also your way of saving the whole freaking world. Because if they don't want a bunch of little Aries exploding all over the place, they better just let me have my damn fantasy. Um, lay a solid foundation. This is Virgo energy. I think you're trying to keep things real. I think you're trying to keep them not not real as in real real but real as in you're trying to be sincere with what you need like you're not trying to be like i uh, set any limits on yourself because it's like i need what i need right now okay don't question me i need what i need right now this is virgo energy trying to stay as healthy as possible maybe you're working out you know you know making sure that you're staying on on point with your nutrition you know that i don't have any aries placements because i just sucked down a cosmic brownie but whatever <laughs> Uh, see, I'm not you. This is a sense of trying to keep yourself on point, trying to give yourself a little bit of discipline, trying to schedule things, but simultaneously understanding that this is a freakish, crazy situation and that mm, you need some relief. You need some relief from the routine. You need some relief from the mundane. You need some relief, some self-healing, self-care. So it is a sense of ap applying a different kind of standard to yourself, a different kind of schedule to yourself, a schedule of, you know, just different things like, like, um, not a, it's not a schedule. Um, it's not a schedule. It's not a schedule. I almost feel like this is what I'm saying. It's almost like building a virtual reality around yourself. That's what it is. It's like if you're working on building something right now, it's like a virtual reality. Because with virtual reality, you'll get to explode and be exactly what you need to be and still be able to be contained. Um, claim your independence. This is very Aries energy. This is one plus three. This is a sense of landing on your feet, all fours, on the ground, falling, spiraling down, but somehow being able to, and I swear to God, this is, this is an Aries blessing. Aries always find a way to do this. Nothing really can harm you guys. Nothing really, it hurts you. Of course you feel your emotions, you're, you're human, but this is a sense of always being able to pull yourself out of it. Always being able to land on your feet and figure out how to press on even through the hardest, most difficult situations you are that, you're the ram. You are the sign that says, suck it up, buttercup, move on through. Like, that's your energy, man. You're, you're Mars. Mars don't sit around and be like, yeah, go take your time to cry about it. No, that's BS and that's not you. So what you're doing is you're not questioning what you need. You are only questioning how do I get more of what I need. That's it. That's the only question on your lips. And when the heck is it going to show up from Amazon? Mm. And then you have open to infinite possibilities. Ooh, shining bright like a diamond. This is the star card. Major changes are coming to your persona, your public persona, how people see you, um, how you care to be seen. You don't even care. It's not that you don't care. It's just that you're allowing your public image. In other words, you're shining outward. You're allowing yourself to be seen. You're not sitting there trying to hide and be like, it wasn't me. You're not. Instead, you'd be like, not only was it me, uh, take a picture. Like, that's the kind of energy of like, like, of being a, of being a star, of being, of, of shining out. This is also maybe being recognized for what you are building or what you are creating. Because if what you are building and if what you are creating is something to help connect people or build it, like, or, or entertain people or do things in terms of like anything that you can reach out to the public with, it's going to work out very, very well for you. Mmm. 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 Hold on, I'm gonna keep shuffling. Central energy, bam. What did I say? It's like any pretenses are down. The gloves are off, the masks are off. You're not hiding from who you are. You're not hiding what you are. However, you are allowing yourself to get lost in fantasy, which means, listen to what I'm saying. What it means is there's no more 
sense of obligation or this firm sense of what I need to do to fit in or be justified in society. Less and less, it's almost like you're kind of given up on the bureaucracy and the system that maybe at one point you clung to. Now there's a sense of all that. Um, this is the real me. This is the true me. So the mask that you wore every day to go to your corporate job or to go to your, you know, traditional work where you were succeeding and striving and challenging yourself, all that's done. It's like, what was the Aries underneath all that? That's the Aries that's coming out. And you're like, like out loud about it. Once again, it's like, you don't, it's almost like, and I've said this before, because you and Capricorn do this a lot. I know you've heard me say this before. You get so caught up in being the best, you stop, you forget to stop to think, do I even care about what I'm trying to be the best at? Now is the time when you are allowed to be stripped down and unmask yourself and realize, did I even care about that? Did I even want that? What is it that I really want? Because this is you getting to your truth and seeing past and through the veil, right? And, it, and that means getting lost in dreams or believing in your dreams. If that's what it means, then that's what it means. And it's becoming so much easier for you to believe in your dreams and not write them off as irresponsible or just hobbies anymore. Because right now, they're the only thing that you've got keeping you sane. It's like... <laughs> That, that, that painting that you haven't worked on for 15 years and all those fucking uh, paints that have dried up, it's like all of a sudden that's the lifesaver, right? It's like that's the tether to reality. That's the thing that you can schedule yourself on. So whatever you had written off as fantasy or fanciful dreams, that is your new norm. That is your new connection. That is what is making you happy. And that is what, and it's allowing you to strip away and chip away at who you've become and get back to who you are. Mm. Here we have Otter Spirit, which is love. This is heart chakra energy. This is close to home. This is partnering. This is pairing. This is being, healing yourself. It's healing. Like think of the little, you know, on the Cheerios box, little heart health. This is like, think of that. It's like healthy for your heart. What makes you happy? What makes you whole? Think about this as four plus two is six. The lovers. Think about this as the lovers card in the tarot deck. You could be finding somebody that you are extremely attracted to. And I picked up on this in last week's reading. There's some sense of Aries, an unexpected romance, like a hookup becoming more than it is. Or taking comfort in your spouse, taking comfort in the person that you're with, finding a lot of time to like get down to some nookie that you could have fallen, could have fallen on the wayside because, you know, I know you guys like a ton of sex. But when we get busy, we get fucking, I don't mean getting busy. I mean like when we get busy with our lives, we get busy with our lives. And it's easy to get distracted even if you're in a loving relationship. So this is a sense of that closeness and that physical touch. Like physical touch helping to heal you. You know what I'm saying? Sexual healing. Okay. And then we have bring your ideas to like electricity. So this is two plus four, six. Once again, love. This, to me, this is new love. New love that has the potential of coming into your life. And you know that I do not like to do a romance reading. I'm not trying to be all romantic about it. But the cards are the freaking cards. And this is like something popping off. Some kind of sparks flying. Man, I don't know. Maybe you just got rushed to the hospital and had to be like, poof. EKG. I, I like, I don't know. Like maybe that's what it is like paddles and stuff, but something is sparking your heart back to life. That's what it is. And it could be if y'all single and proud, it could just be that you're feeling your heart come alive again, because even though your competition and your passion was there, was your emotions really following it? Were you really connected emotionally to what you were doing? I don't think so. I think you got caught up in that Aries fog of I will win without even thinking, do I, do I want what I'm about to win? Like what race am I running? <laughs> you know? And now it's all of a sudden like the race that you were running, you've been cut off from because we're all like in quarantine, right? And now all of a sudden it's like, 
I remember what I really wanted. I remember the real prize. And how did I get so far? It's all the way over there. How did I get so far away? Like, because you've been running this race that didn't even have anything to do with your heart space. It just had to do with win, win, win. And it's taking you farther and farther away from your truth, right? So what you consider to be fanciful and delusional is actually not. It's not. It's who you are. It's closer to your heart space. And you're starting to apply your fervor and your fury to that, to take that seriously. And I really love that energy for you. Could be a romance, right? You could, you know, it could be a romance. These are energies that I'm describing, guys. I don't want to hear the freaking comments that I hate when it's just love and romance readings. This is never just a love and romance reading. This is an energy reading. I tell you that from the beginning. So think about how these different energies could apply. How you may have separated yourself from that feeling and that heart space inside of you. And how suddenly it's being shocked back to life. It's literally alive again. Bringing that heart back to life. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Woo! This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. And that's what it is. It's your light is starting to shine from the inside again. And your star is gonna come out. It's like it's like glowing. Glowing. Like you are being cast, are casting your own light now. It's not you trying to bask in somebody else's light. This is also Scorpionic energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, but this is a sense of, um, a sense of what used to be, what was in the past, or what you thought was dead, now guiding you and directing you, being your guiding light. So this is um, four plus six equals 10. Something coming to maturity, something coming to fruition, uh, something coming, um, not necessarily coming to an end, but coming to a, coming into reality, like coming to being. And then we have a rebirth is assured. And that's your rebirth. That's in your grounding energy. That's your grounding energy, Aries, is change. This change is actually going to bring you the rebirth that you need to bring you out of the dark. You didn't even know you were in the damn dark. Because for you, you're always shining. So you weren't in the dark, you weren't in the dark, you weren't in the dark, but you were. But you were. And you may have been beating everybody out, and you may have been winning, and you may have been getting raises, and you may have been, you know, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, this is a sense of something actually taking wing of something suddenly it's like the veil has come off and as lost as you were and didn't know it it's like now you realize it and you get it and you're transforming that's what it is it's being able to see clearly even in a dark space it's like why because you have the light in your eyes right it's not shining at your eyes it's coming out of your eyes like you are the light so you don't have to worry about the dark times you don't have to worry about in other words something has inspired you right and there's been a big change in transformation could have been transformation in your partnership could have been your partner waking up coming back to life finally giving you a little bit of something or um showing interest that they haven't for a while hold on i'm gonna review the cards as i talk hold on really solid reading and the whole thing that's grounding you is now this new willingness to change. This willingness to see who you are or who you were before you became who you had to be to be the winner and to be the best. This is also truth coming out. Could be love being revealed that a spark is happening in a place that you thought was dead. Building a foundation. What? Through your own convictions, through your own capabilities, knowing that basically you don't need the structure you thought you needed around you. You are confident in who you are. Now, all of this is happening. Why? Because it was forced to happen. You were forced into an uncomfortable position. But the whole thing is about this is Aries. It's actually one of the best things that could have ever freaking happened for you. It sounds crazy. It really does. But it's almost like being held inside is, is being forced to stay inside is coming out, is bringing you out of the dark, is helping you to come out of the dark. 
you know, out of this, whatever darkness it was sort of set upon you in just having to be in this, like get into patterns, get into patterns, you know, get into habits, these habits that you guys form. It's like you, you end up getting really attached to them, but this forced all the patterns to break. And as crazy and scary as that seems, it was the best thing that could have ever happened to you. Now, what is going to come of it and what is coming? What can you expect? And maybe a little bit more about this relationship, because we're definitely going to get into the romance specific reading over on Vimeo, uh, over on in the app and Vimeo and the extended, the extended link is below. Hop on over there with me and I will be glad to continue this reading. I'll see you guys over there.